Y'all know what this is. Stories with Sue. This is a time instead of doing work, I just tell you all a story from my life. So, once a long time ago, I was in Form 4. Yeah? First term, first term just started at maths. Now, I was always a pretty smart kid. I came first every single time in primary school. Well, except this one time this teacher told me she gerrymandered the marks so just that three girls could come ahead of me because equal rights or some kind of thing anyhow as a pretty smart kid but in this first at maths class eh, i had no idea what was going on my mom had just bought a shiny new calculator for me so i played with that and talked during the at maths class now talking in at maths class was like playing with your life because the at maths teacher was mr hosin who was a dean mr hosin was a serious fella for example corporal punishment which is beating people children was banned was banned as soon as i entered secondary school but like hussein get the memo late by because he blazed me and a couple of my friends in the form one for talking in class during a free period that was before we even had him for admat so we just knew that this dude was a scary dude not to be played with so mr hussein was one of those teachers who had those quiet quiet classes everybody was quiet but when he turned around to write any board, we took our chances and had a little talk and, you know, slight talk and thing. But it was like a game of Russian roulette, cat and mouse, because as soon as he turned around, everybody quiet. But of course, on this day, I would be the one to get caught. I was showing my friend how to write words, how you could actually write words on my shiny new scientific calculator. And out of the blue, I just heard, SPRING UP! Well, the whole class fell silent, the PTSD. <laughs> from my legs in form one like it acted up so I, I, I froze and the calculator that was in my hand slid out and dropped on the ground and bounced and cracked open and, and split all into a thousand pieces the buttons were everywhere sign x second function everything was all over the floor the classroom remained quiet although i could see tears coming out my friend's eye because they were stifling a laugh but had to remain quiet anyhow fast forward to the point of this video my first at maths exam, the midterms, I still knew completely nothing in this topic. But I wasn't worried. I was a champion in the cramming department, world class champion in the cramming department. Night before the exam, I realized I had a problem. You see, cramming works best if you understood the content at some point in time and I understood nothing. My notes were sketchy and the textbook wasn't very helpful. I mean, those who did add maths at that time would know the textbook. It's what, that, that, that textbook, it, I've never seen a new version of that textbook. It always comes in an old, it, I feel they sell it from the bookstore, old and undecipherable. I feel it's sold in that condition. So, the morning of the exam, I got sick. My body was telling me something. But... I went to the health center with my mom and by mid-morning I was already feeling better so I went to school because I didn't want to miss my exam. So I came in half there and I reached about 5 minutes just after the exam started. But I should have gone home. I did go into the exam with confidence. Blistering confidence. I always go into exams with a great deal of optimism. In fact, I could do an exam right now on Japanese language and feel like I'm gonna pass even though I know nothing on Japanese language. Onichiwa. During the exam, I quickly realized I was probably going to fail, but to get some marks, I wrote down formulae and steps. I answered every question. In detail, Mr. Hussein must see my passion and reward me with some marks. Well, he didn't. <laughs> and as the title suggests, I got zero. This man took his time and wrote zero out of a hundred in the report book and signed it. He could recall my questions and gave me zero. Not even a mark for writing my name. Zero. Now I know some of y'all feeling maths is a normal scene every day. That is all in a day's work. But for me, this was unknown territory. And it was zero. Can you imagine how this devastated my overall average? But I was an optimistic guy. I, I mean... I could only improve. <laughs> actually, that wasn't quite true because in the school I went, there was this technical drawing teacher that would actually give children negative marks, like negative 50%. You could get negative 50% in a subject. This means that if your isometric and oblique projection wasn't up to scratch, he's gonna give you a mark that taking away marks from your already existing subjects. <laughs> Anyhow, my next ADMATS exam, I would be ready. Or so I thought. 
subscribers, viewers, well-wishers, students, I tell you here today, in the very next AdMats exam that I did, the end of terms, the grade I got was another zero. Another zero. <laughs> well, bye. Look at that. Look at that. Ain't God good. The maths teacher that is out here saving thousands of Caribbean students' lives with YouTube videos actually got zero twice in his first two maths exam. Huh. Life funny. For the third exam, I would be ready. Alright. Really ready this time. Uh, but before that, before that third exam came parents day. And it was the weirdest thing. You see, I expected Mr. Hossein to dance on my grave in front of my parents. So he was the first teacher I visited because I figured what the heck, let me get this over with quickly. But when I sat down at this man's desk, he raised up his book to himself, he opened it and he would have seen those two zeros, he watched it, he watched my mom, he closed the book and he said, Cohen is an excellent student, absolutely no problems with this young man. He's doing very well. He's coming along very nicely. Whoa. Wow. I was shook. I, I, I was in disbelief. My mom was like, but didn't he, didn't he get two zeros? Uh, in my mind, I was like, woman, didn't you hear the man? She, he said, I'm doing excellent. I'm doing excellent. But anyhow, Mr. Hosin continued. He, he said, no, no, no. Don't worry about those two zeros. He's just feeling out the subject for himself. He's just feeling it out. I was like, what is going on here? Yes, Lord. Huh. So I sat there and listened to this man make me sound like young Einstein when I hadn't even acquired a single mark for a whole term. Anyhow, the following exam, the third term, I scored 86%. How I went from 0 to 86%? Hours and hours and hours and hours. <laughs> We didn't have YouTube back then, so it was um, it was some work on my part, but that's another story. Let's get to the moral of this story, and there are many, but I'll give you three. One, your failures don't define who you are, so don't let anybody reproach you because you have done badly in the past. There's a future. Two, first impressions can be deceiving. I thought Mr. Hussein was a monster, but he turned out to be a pretty cool guy. We lined with him a lot and he taught us a lot of things. I saw him in the market the other day and he wished me well in my teaching career. And number three, don't give up. I'm Cohen Springer. I make YouTube videos to educate, entertain, and encourage students. Subscribe to the channel to be a part of the YouTube online maths crash course for CSEC. And call or WhatsApp the number in the description to find out how you can be a part and register for the CSEC maths exam prep. You can also purchase an entire online maths course. The link is in the description. Don't forget to like. See you around.